the all important moment has been decided. I'm ready. Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to a new video. Today for you guys, we are going to be reacting to Defending Pineapple on Pizza. It's not that bad from Brody Animates. I hope you guys are having a great day. If you guys didn't know, I've been asking this question on my like YouTube channel for a while. Like, does pineapple belong on pizza? And half of you guys say yes, half of you say no. But today, we're going to see what Brody thinks about it. Before the video starts, guys, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for all the support you guys always show. It really does mean a lot to me. Make sure you guys leave a comment down below who you guys want me to react to in the future. But that being said, that's all I got for you guys so i'm excited so let's get right into the video <laughs> oh boy here we go why is his face look like this okay we got a normal pizza boy that's ancho that's a giant fish with mayonnaise what is happening no what is what's that's disgusting <gasps> fart <laughs> Uh, it's it's just it's just a topping. This is what I like on my pizza. Well, pineapple is nasty. I can't believe you put that on your pizza. Oh Wait, my gosh. How did you find my address? I'm gonna unsubscribe. Oh my gosh, Brody's hey, voice no, is so much different. Hey, no, no, don't you do that. Uh, screw you. I'm keeping this pineapple on my pizza. Leave me alone. Everybody, attack! Attack! Wait, what? Attack! Pizza. I don't mind it. It's pretty good. I think that's just a universal claim. There's <laughs> pizza for everyone. There's so many kinds. I'm lactose intolerant. Oh, Boom! Boy. Have a dairy-free pizza. I, have I mean, yeah, pizza's disease. very like Boom. you know gluten-free pizza. Diverse. You I'm an actual monster. Boom! Broccoli on pizza. Nice. I don't like any of the ingredients to pizza. Boom! Have a pizza gummy or a pizza bagel or a pizza cupcake. There's That's so a, much pizza. Pizza cupcake but is a thing. There is one type of pizza that <laughs> isn't for everybody. The forbidden fruit, if you will. <laughs> Pineapple pizza. Oh gosh. The incarnation of hatred. Satan. I hate it. I hate you. I saw that comment. Everyone hates pineapple pizza. Ah, oh, that's surprising. But why? I, for one, think it's good. It's not my favorite pizza, but I think it's good. And there are many worse I think with the right toppings, pizza. I can't like just have lettuce and onions on my pizza, but, but it has to be like when it comes to worse like pizzas, pineapple or gets or all the slack. Well, to truly understand why, we have to go back. Way back. Hey, he's actually me. going back to the future. <laughs> ah, I don't have my license. <laughs> uh, good enough. Anyways, here's a quick history lesson. If the Super Mario Bros. Super Show Season 1, Episode 35, entitled Quest for the Pizza, has taught me anything, uh, it's that pizza <laughs> is an ancient relic and has been around since Caveman. I didn't even know that was a show. This is true. Bread was step one. Then people were like, let's put the seasoning on the bread. And then boom, let's got put the bread. seasoning on the bread. Like, yeah, that's exactly put the how it was. on the garlic bread. And okay. then boom, pizza. Pizza's basically gourmet <laughs> the garlic bread. We cannot nice. change my opinion. Like I said, a lot of cultures did this, but it was Italy who did it best. Nice. The main pizza chef I got from Google was Rafael Esposito. I, have I know no a lot idea of people in Italy saying. do not like Probably how we not. do pizza. He had the perfect balance of there. ingredients as well as adding sauce to his pizza. It was amazing. Except, in my opinion, it didn't have any flavors. Pizza. He made his pizza really basic with bread, mozzarella cheese, and tomatoes. That is boring. That's just cheese pizza. There's no yeah, exuberant no, flavors. Boring. The ebullient texture. That's how some people the, like uh, it, though. Um, effervescent... <laughs> okay, I don't have any more words, but cheese pizza is fine, <laughs> nice. but it's boring. Then in the early 1900s, Italian immigrants moved to New York and they were like, Hey, stupid Americans! Look at how good this is. And nice. everyone was impressed. <laughs> and boom, phenomenon. People started pizza adding more toppings. Corner, now we got pepperoni. We got mushrooms. We got three types of cheeses. That's so many types of cheeses. <laughs> they even got baked bean pizza. That's I don't know if I'm into it, a little but if you are, there. that's an option. Inevitably, it went up north to Canada, where Sam Pineapolis added pineapple and ham to pizza. Yeah, pineapple pizza is so Canadian. And no, I'm definitely not biased. <laughs> the creator reportedly made it because he thought of bringing biased. customers and thought it was stupid, but ended up liking the contrast between the sweet pineapple and savory ham. And then he called it Hawaiian pizza uh. because of the pineapples. <laughs> Even though it's Canadian. Makes However, sense. some people didn't see it this way. They figured it was just a marketing scheme, which it kind of was, yeah. and weren't ready to accept the legend that was pineapple pizza. 
So there you go. A brief history of pineapple I think pineapple it's more pizza. accepted nowadays. But why do people hate this specific pizza? It's a neat idea, a decent flavor, and has the same history as other flavors. <laughs> now let's go back to the so present day. Because this place is icky and gross and ew. They don't even use vacuums. Why am I not using the DeLorean again? Well, I want to huh? fit as many pop culture references as I can so the YouTube this algorithm respects me. Let's go! <laughs> nice. <laughs> ah, polluted air. Anyways, short answer, it's easy. Everyone loves the taste of pepperoni on pizza. Yes. It goes together like eggs and bacon. But pineapple yeah. has more of a niche market. It's out of people's comfort zones. Some people will argue that fruit doesn't belong on pizza, but peppers are fruits. Peppers are Olives fruits. are technically fruits. Tomatoes are fruits. There's, there's tomatoes Olives. and tomato sauce, you idiot. Those are, those are fruits. <laughs> Not only that, but <laughs> celebrities and people look up to all out. hate on it as well. On the internet, it's easy to access people who don't agree with you and people who do, allowing the hate to grow. This nice. might be reading into it, but I think people hate it because it makes them seem more interesting as a person with conflicting opinions without genuinely hurting anyone's feelings or making someone angry. Okay. Like, you know how some people just hate on things because they're popular? Kind of like that. If you don't yeah, like I the guess, flavor yeah. of something, that's that. fine. Even for pineapple pizza. The point of this video wasn't to change how you taste things. But when it gets to the point where you're unironically calling someone a bad person, then uh, maybe you need to step off. Bro, pineapple if you're calling someone a bad brother, person because they like pineapple pizza, take that's crazy. Stand. Funny, Stop but definitely crazy. Stop taking for liking something that's good. Start voicing your opinions. It is time to band together. Together, uh, we can end the hate nice. against our flavor of pizza. <laughs> we will take this no longer. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, the crowd Share going. this video. Order Give pineapple pizza. Views. And most importantly, <laughs> even if you still don't like pineapple pizza, stand by your opinion. Because you are not alone. Oh, wow. He's a motivational speaker. Look at him go. Who was that in the middle? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> now, you for the next subject, ranch on pizza. Oh, my God. That was a bomb. Anyway, guys, tell me if you guys like pineapple on pizza in the comments. I need to know this. I don't know why I'm so invested in this, but I, I just am, okay? So let me know if you guys like pineapple on pizza. That's all I got for you guys. I hope you guys are having a great day. And again, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. See ya.